this one. It's a saddle very worn, so the pads are still good. They don't want to mess them up. So I can reset them. I'll try to pull the shoes. Very little damage to the pad. By pulling this nail out individually. Uh, they'll be nervous if they think that you don't know what you're doing or if they sense something they shouldn't be sensing from you. Motherfucker, let it go. How do these saddle breads require leather pads? Massage ones don't require leather pads. Some of the jumpers and the nicer jumpers. This guy definitely goes very well in them. The overall are very good for his feet. driving the nail and I stop and I pull it out, I already heard the sound that it's no good. It might be, it might be going too close inside or it's not going up high enough or it's going to break out too soon. Twice I've bitten bit bit on the back, but they'll just reach down and just take junk out of your back, which doesn't feel too good. Your nervousness alone, it's like sending a video image to a horse's brain. It's like when you see young kids learning how to ride, and a young kid will go, oh my god, I'm going to fall off and die. The horse will suddenly stop and look around and go, why? What's going to kill us? What's going to kill us? And it's, it's just so true. Horses pick up on a slice a little bit of telepathy. It's unbelievable. This is a flex. After I file the feet, I like to put some type of a, a moisturizer over it. If you're filing a ton, a lot, a lot, a lot, isn't good but I just take the surface off just to make it look 
uh, in a nice uniform manner and take all the unnatural bumps. There's more to take off, but I really don't get carried away. My favorite horses get from Trader Joe's, they get cinnamon graham crackers. They absolutely love these things. And when you feed a horse, you never stick your fingers in there. You open your fingers the best you can so that they don't take your fingers off. There you go. So, okay, come on. Put him back in his stall. No, 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 no. You're spoiled rotten. Let's go. And then, anytime I, when I'm walking a horse back, I always reassess my shoeing, see how he's landing, see how his feet are going.